OK, so we now have to step back outside to fit the gas loop transmitter to the meter. You will see that the system has selected plate A um, for installation, which I've got here. So this is plate A. But it's just worth noting that any of the plates for a metric meter, plate C and plate D, all have the same square aperture. So regardless of your meter type, it's the same installation process that we will show you for this meter outside. OK, the first step is to open the wipe. And it's very important that the face of the meter is thoroughly clean to ensure good adhesion of the adapter plate to the meter. That should do it. So we take the adapter plate A and we peel the backing paper off the sticky tape. It's very important not to touch the tape um, as it damages the adhesion, so hold the adapter plate by the sides. And then to align it, we're aligning the square aperture to the least significant digit, the digit on the register on the furthest right hand side. It's very important to position yourself directly above the register so that you can see precisely that the aperture is lining up with the digits. When it's in place, you keep your finger on the adapter plate for 10 seconds to ensure proper adhesion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that should be just fine. To connect the sensor head of the gas loop transmitter to the adapter plate, you simply peel off the tape and without touching the tape position it into the cradle on the adapter plate and hold it down for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that ensures, ensures a good um, fixing to the plate. We then need to reset and wake up the gas loop transmitter by squeezing the unit on the reset button, like so. When doing so, you will see that the red light lights up in the sensor head, like that. And we can leave that positioned in the meter box in the vertical plane to ensure good radio transmission. Remember, once you've completed, to wipe down the installation with a damp cloth just to leave it properly and we can then close the lid and seal the meter box.